The staircase is one of the largest and prominent architectural element in your foyer. So why not give it the presentation and grandeur it deserves when decorating for the holidays? loves I'm going to share with you how I decorate my staircase but before I begin here is a clip on how I prep and organize clean and touch up the area before decorating you want to start on a clean slate it destroys all your decorating efforts to notice dirty risers and badly scuffed paint peeking through your finished masterpiece organize your decor Place your items on a nice sized table near your staircase in the order you will be installing. First will be your greenery, which is your garland, then the lights, coordinating ribbon, organized ornaments by color, and then specialty pieces for your focal point. Make sure you have enough garland for your design. You may need to attach more than one together for the acquired length. Attach garland using plastic wrappers, florist wire, or coordinating ribbon. Using a garland stem is also a great idea and it's free, you don't have to buy anything. Before adding your lights, plug it in the outlet to ensure that they work properly. Then divide your lights up. If you have 100 lights, take the first 50, apply it to the center of the garland and work your way out toward the end of the garland. Take the other 50 and work your way out to the other end of the garland. This will ensure even distribution of the lights. Now we begin to fluff and stuff. Fluff the garland to create fullness, ensuring to cover any gaps or holes. This would create a natural look. Then add your decorations. Hang your ribbon along the garland and to add interest, create a large bow at selected points or at intersecting areas. Now here's where you can get creative. Using specialty pieces like ornament clusters, swags, or large Christmas elements to create a focal point. Lastly, fill the gaps. Add your specialty ornaments and picks to fill in any gaps. Welcome back. I hope you guys enjoyed that small clip. If you like that plush magazine look when it comes to your garland, here's a few tips. On this side, the I should say the opposite side of the garland, the place where uh, you normally don't decorate. <laughs> well, I do. I put another set of garland and strung it along the opposite side of the railing. The inside of the railing I should say and I put little grabbers here to hang the garland just like I did on the outside of the railing once I get that hung up I will attach the two garlands together so it's nice and plush right down the center this way it looks like a complete plush garland on both sides of the handrail now normally I don't use this type of garland this garland is fine the only problem with this garland this garland came from Michaels and it was for $7.99. It's just that it's thin. So you would have to buy enough to double it up so you get that nice plush look. The garland I normally get is about $30. But I normally get it on Black Friday. So it doesn't cost that much. But this is it right here. It's beautiful garland. It's already pre-lit. And it has two types of stems on it. You have the plastic-like feel stem. And then you have the nylon or the regular stem and those two make it very very natural together and it's beautiful nice plush and thick so this is the garland what i normally get it's about thirty dollars if you like to loop your garland that means those little wide loops that goes up and down your rail you have to get enough garland to compensate that length also the same thing when you're running garland all the way down to the rail you make sure that you have enough so if you're going to use the loops make sure the loops are even not unless you're doing a pattern of short loop then long loop then short loop again if you're doing a pattern then you still have to make sure your loops that are shorter are even 
So that's it for these couple of uh, tips. Now I'm going to take all this down because I'm not doing a garland this year. This was only for instructional purposes and we can get ready to start decorating. Okay, I decided to put a garland on the front of the post here. It wraps around here in a double loop and then goes down and swerves down that way. I'm going to have to redistribute the lights here because since I doubled it, um, some of the lights are not being shown, so I need to do that. And then what I'm going to do is decorate a little something here. My theme this year is called Sleigh Ride, so it have, it'll have something to do with that theme. What I'm going to do is I'm going to put the camera down and while you watch me decorate, and then I'll talk about what I've done. Okay, what I'm doing here is attaching some florist wires so I can attach my sleigh. The sleigh is pretty heavy, so we will also secure it with some ribbon. Now I'm adding some frosted branches just to bring out that sleigh background. I want that sleigh to really shine and pop, so I will be adding some branches and some sprigs and a nice beautiful bow. This black and white striped bow I purchased from Michaels for $4.99 and I got it on Black Friday, believe it or not, and they had the 30% coupon, so I really stocked up on this. But it's so gorgeous sitting in the center of this garland. I attached that with some florist wire in the back and then fluffed the bow. So let's add some tails. Now I want this a little different. Don't really want a tail per se that you have on a bow. So I just streamed the uh, ribbon through the garland just to have some consistency in the design. And this is what we come up with. Now later I'll be adding some more things here and there where well, you probably would see on the tour that I would have for my foyer. But that's that. Okay, so we need to create the swag that would go on the railing. We're going to add this beautiful white branch as the base. And then this flocked pine branch will go on top here. And we're going to spread it evenly so it looks nice. The branch looks nicely peeking through. And then we're going to add another pine branch for the tail. Now I also need to discreetly hide that twig there. I don't want that to peek through my design when I install it. Then we're going to add this beautiful crystal branch. I love decorating with these for the holidays. They give you just the right of sparkle in the design. And I'm going to lay that on top here. And then lastly, we are going to add this wintery branch here. I purchased this at Michael's a couple of years ago. I love using these too. They have that nice shine in it, that uh, glitter, I believe it is, that's in there and it makes it sparkle so nicely. So that that looks very nice against those crystal branches. And then we're going to top it off with this flopped pine branch that's very small that has a pine there and a couple of berries. So we're going to combine all this with some florist wire, tie it securely so it won't move. And then we're going to add a beautiful black and white ribbon to tie around the florist wire and serve as the tails for the bow. Yes, before we do the bow, we are going to do this ornament. This is a beautiful glittered slate ornament. We're going to hang freely here. So it dangled just beneath the bow and in between the tails. So we're going to add that uh, with some florist wire and secure it around the branch. So 
so this swag will get secured on the on the railing my railing is pretty small so I only need about two of these that I will install but um, I, I do have th two other railings on the other floors my floors is a split level so uh, we don't I don't have that nice long uh, beautiful staircase like you see in those two-story homes so I have to work with what I have <laughs> So here we are, I'm getting ready to um, add the tails here for the bow. Now later I will fishtail all the bows that's on my design that gives it that finished look. So we will also tie that securely to hide the wire and we'll arrange that once we have it installed. So we're just gonna do a mock kind of thing. I'm just going to do a, a just a loose bow just to see will it fit nicely between the pine um, spray there and the tails. Okay, so let's talk about what we've done. Right here in the front, everything is done with the front of the post. I add a garland here that's kind of swag toward the side. I add this beautiful black and white ribbon. And then I put some picks in here from the branches that I had. I just cut some of these little glitz in there to add some glam in the uh, design. We have some white branches. This is really elaborate how that comes out and spreads out into from the bow and then we have a nice um, pick there with frosted leaves and come down to the big sleigh there that's dangling freely and then we just swerve around right there on the stairs there I added some another pick to, because I'm gonna put something there so it adds a nice little foundation here is the grand finale on the side of the banister here. Isn't this gorgeous? I wanted something different, but I want it to be elaborate and just as showy like I normally do for my uh, decorations for the holiday. This spray is gorgeous. We have several layers going on, white branches in the back, uh, another pine pick with frosted twigs. We have some more glam going on with the crystal branches. Then it comes down to some frosted branches here. We put a little white in there to um, make it look wintry. And really have this pick here that's very, very uh, thick with snow and some white berries there. The black and white ribbon really shows it off. And to complete it, that gorgeous silver sleigh there. Okay, I'm going to add a lantern, a couple of lanterns to design there in those two spaces. So I need to uh, do the same kind of decor similar to what's on the staircase so it can coordinate together. And this is going to really do a great job with the low parts of the banister. We have all that flare and, and elaborate sprays up at the top down at the bottom where I put those twigs they need something there so this is perfect it's low enough to do what I want and we are going to decorate it and starting with these picks
so what do you think? I think that turned out nicely. I didn't want a bow here because down low is where the bow is on the swags. So I didn't really want a bow there. But I did want the lantern to coordinate with the design. So I just weaved uh, some ribbon inside the uh, pick here to give it a little black and white. And then we have these nice frosted twigs that's in the design so it coordinates perfectly. I think that worked out pretty well. I love the way this turned out. The bows is the star of the design. The branches flows out in a variety of glass and wintry mix. The white branches, crystal stems, and flock sprays look full and gorgeous. The ribbon continues to flow to the bottom of the garland and set the stage for the beautiful lanterns which are a perfect completion to the lower half of the design. Moving up, the eye candy of the whole design are these beautiful sprays of delicate branches that coordinate with the rest of the design. I truly think this is one of my better staircase designs for Christmas. <music> 